How y'all doing, ladies and gentlemen? So, the news has come out that Bayern and Hansi Flick have indeed extended their contract. This is actually kind of funny considering that yesterday's video was about Hansi Flick specifically, and now he's actually extended his contract until 2023. So, let me actually read you what the official Bayern website has to say, and then let's talk about it in detail. Um, so the first thing is, FC Bayern and Hansi Flick are extending their cooperation. As a result of positive talks in a spirit of good faith, Chairman Karl-Heinz Rummenigge, Board Member Oliver Kahn and Sporting Director Hassan Salihamidzic have agreed contract extensions with the head coach until the 30th of June 2023. So again, a new contract until 2023, which is actually pretty long, honestly. Three years. It's actually, a, you know, well, you could say perhaps only two years, considering that this season is pretty much... Uh, we don't know what's going to happen with it, but I guess this year, not just this season, but this year in general, is pretty much at a standstill as of right now. Um, but anyway, the article continues. Karl-Heinz Rummenigge saying FC Bayern... Or, well, let me put my Karl-Heinz Rummenigge voice on. FC Bayern are very satisfied with Hansi Flick's back. The team has developed very well under him. They are playing attractive football, which is also reflected in the results. I can't do his accent. Um, he's got this like very. Uh, I don't even know what's the right phrasing here. I, I don't know. I'm not good with accents. Anyway, we're the only German club still present in all three. Com well, I don't know whether you want to say that concerning that this season. We don't know what's going to happen to it. But as of right now, I guess, yeah. We're the only German club still present in all three competitions. In addition, I like the way he leads the team. His qualities as a person are convincing. He has empathy on his side. FC Bayern trust Hansi Flick. And we're convinced we'll continue to achieve our goals with him in the future. So, that one basically saying, um, Carlos Rummenigge is basically stating the achievement, the sporting achievement, you know. Um, you know, we're doing very well this season, have played very good football, are still in all three major competitions, um, and the fact that, you know, as a person, he's also very, very likeable. The team seems to very much enjoy his presence there, which we knew beforehand, like, even before, even when he was still assistant, um, you know, there was, we often saw pictures of him, like, consoling players, talking to players, so that was always an apparent. Um, but obviously that being a key thing is very important here for Carlos Romilega as well as the rest of the, the members. Um, then Hassan Salihamidzic says, um, ooh, his, his, his way of speaking is uh, like very stop-start. From the first day Hansi took over, we had a plan for managing the situation. Um, Hansi um, initially um, took charge from, for two matches, um, then until Christmas. Then uh, th there was an agreement uh, that he'd be our head coach until the end of the season. Uh, I I'm trying to mimic his, his speech. It's very like stop start, and then like he keeps going for like a good minute, just non stop speaking, and it's very stop start again. It's very, it's actually a very interesting way of speaking. I I'm dissect. I'm a di I'm not a dialect coach. I I'm, I'm dissecting his speech right now, I guess. But anyway, from the first, uh, I'll read it all again. From the first day Hansi took over, we had a plan for managing the situation. Hansi initially took charge for two matches, then until Christmas, then it was an agreement that he be our head coach until the end of the season. Hansi abided by it with loyalty and discipline. That's one of his qualities. Another factor is the result. The results Hansi has achieved with our team. The results speak for themselves. Hansi and I know the ways we want to take the team forward. Football is facing huge challenges. We think Hansi is the right head coach for these times too. So, Hall uh, Sally Hamish is basically just stating, yeah, the plan was originally just two games, and then it extended until Christmas, and then we saw how good he was, so it was like, until the end of the season, so basically saying, you know, we, we, we didn't really expect too much at the beginning, but, like, he kind of proved himself you know, to be that good, and uh, ultimately, you know, that led to him getting this um, contract, this deserved contract until 2023, you know, it was only supposed to be two days, then only, you know, until Christmas, then until the end of the season, and now it's until the end of 2023. Ha-ha! <laughs> so, I'm just saying, he's basically just highlighting, yeah, you know what? Um, we've assessed this case, we, like, we didn't jump in the gun, we, we didn't, like, jump in there, jump the shark, you know, um, we, we kind of just assessed it every single step of the way, and uh, it's been very well uh, it's been it's been working very well so far. Then you have Oliver Kahn. Oliver Kahn has a weird way of speaking because he like he, his speech used to be like when you look at like some of the interviews like twenty years ago when he was still a footballer. You know his speech was like very very just um I don't, I don't want to say aggressive. I feel like that's the right, no, that's the wrong way, but like a lot more um direct. So he would like just just speak speak speak. 
get his point out, done, over, we're sorted. But if you look at if you looked at him when like, he did his analysis, for, like for example, for um, TTF, I believe it was, um, which is like a German national um, television news station, not news station, just German national um, channel, I guess. Uh, he's a lot more slower now, like, like a lot more methodical. He's almost like a thinker, the great thinker. Ooh, Sun Tzu once said, haha. <laughs> now it's Oliver Kahn once said, haha. <laughs> now that's basically how it is right now. So he's like very slow and methodical now. You know, com completely different than how he was when he was younger. But anyway, he says, it's important. Actually, no. Apologies. First of all, it's Hansi Flick. So Hansi Flick says, the head coach himself. I'm looking forward to taking on the upcoming tasks along with my staff and a team. The talks with Carlos Romanigo, Oliver Kahn, and Sas Halan uh, I can't say his name, Hassan Salihamidzic. We're very good and in the spirit of good faith. We've determined the direction for the upcoming years. I'm sure we can achieve a lot together. So, just very much like, yeah, cool. We talked and yay, I'm here. Well, we've got a plan for the future, which is always obviously nice, but they always say that until the plan fails. As a wise boxer once said, everyone has a plan until they get punched in the face. You don't get really punched in the face in football unless you're Lewandowski and you're playing against Dortmund. Cough, cough, hint, hint. That should have been a red card. Um, but you don't really get punched in, in the face in football. But um, in a football, I guess the, the the embodiment of being punched in the face is, I guess, losing very, very badly. So very interesting what he says. It's basically just like we've got a plan and that's what we're hoping to achieve. Simple. Very simple. You know, cut through, very simple. And then you have Oliver Kahn who's saying, It's important for FC Bayern that a coach understands the club philosophy. Hansi was a player and later an assistant coach at FC Bayern. Now he's head coach for the long term. We're heading in a good direction. Hansi knows the club's mentality. He knows maximum success is the benchmark for FC Bayern and I'm delighted we can develop our idea of the club and of football along with him in the years to come simple i mean that one is just very simple basically saying you know the club's philosophy the club's um ethos the club um you know wants to win um always aiming for the ultimate um prizes always aiming for the very tip top top shape um just aiming for the top and that's basically he knows that um we know that he knows that the club knows that the team knows that his coaching staff knows that and you know he knows that he knows what's expected of him it's, it's almost like a warning really you know he doesn't really say a warning but it's almost like a warning like yeah you know if we if we, if we fall short i mean it's, it's an expected thing but it's still i feel like it's more so a warning than it is really praise of hansi flick it's more it's, it's you know in my in the way i read it it's much more like uh, um yeah we're always aiming for the tip it's the very top, the tip top of world football. And if Hansi can't deliver that, then he's not going to be there. So right now we think he can, but if he can't, gone. So that, that's that's what it sounds like to me, honestly. I, I know it could be interpreted differently, but like he doesn't really talk much about Hansi, you know, that well. Just that Hansi knows a club, which almost sounds like a, yeah, he knows that like if he if he doesn't deliver, then he's out. Which is kind of interesting, you know, to say basically to to hint towards, I guess, in a contract extension. But overall. I'm happy he um, I'm happy he extended his contract. You know, when he came in, a lot of people were like, "Yeah, you know what? Just a short time, short short term solution." But then, like, we played really, really good football, and that's like not easy because it's very easy to play successful football. Like, let, let's, let's not kid ourselves. It's very easy to play successful football um, because we have the kind of players that like we could play. We could have no manager and we'd still play relatively well relatively well like very relatively successful football but like actually playing good football and that's where the struggle usually is because good football requires to um that good football generally requires breaking down a team uh you know exposing their weaknesses you know um highlighting our strengths and then combining those two things together and that's obviously a lot more difficult than just like oh we've got a star striker he can score goals and then we all we have to do is defend you know it's, it's much it's much more important it's much more difficult than just doing that which is why i always say like if we play good football we usually play successful football regardless um because if we play good football that means you know if we play good attractive football that means that we're doing something right and that means that we're gonna be very very good um now of course there are a few exceptions in world football about this you know that teams that don't play that good that, that good style of football um, but are still successful in some shape, form, or manner. Um, but obviously, that's just the exception, not the rule. So, 
Overall, I'm happy with his contract extension. Let me know what you all think, though, ladies and gentlemen. Again, you know, we talked about Hansi Flick yesterday. Um, the rumors were like, that, that he was that he wanted more power when it came to transfers. Now, it doesn't say anything about that here, granted, but I'm assuming that's, that, that's, that is you know, something that they conceded on just because that was the rumor. But obviously, we can't be 100% sure of that. But regardless, I like Hansi Flick. I like him being a manager for the rest of uh, the rest of the rest of this season, and um, more so until 2023. So I'm looking forward to seeing how the team develops with him. Um, and he he is integrating youth players as well, which is one of the things that I really really appreciate about him. I wish he was integrating a few more, maybe here and there, just a few more. Um, but that's just me. That's just my wishful hoping and my wishful thinking. So, regardless, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you all think. I will see you all in the next one, everyone. Until then, have a nice day. Peace out. And